Hi everyone, me, we are here in, where are we? Liverpool yeah. 7, I'm always like this. So we're in Liverpool 7, we've just done Liverpool 8, that's why I'm getting confused. So we've got, we've got some waste coming from down the bottom of the soil stack, which isn't great. As you can see, it's coming back up through the hole there. So there must be some joint tissue there, but we've also got, this seems to be a blocked interceptor. If you have a look, it's sitting quite high. So what we'll do is, we've got a handy manhole here as well, which I'm assuming will be full. So what we'll do is we'll get this up, we'll give that a bit of a plunge just to see how deep it is and what's what. It might even go, you never know. So let's have a look in here first. You, That's a nasty one, because obviously you can see this rain gully is blocked as well. Uh, so, Let's just see what's going on down here first. Oh, no it's not. That's a surface gully. So I think our blockage, that's not an interceptor. That's a rain gully leading to here. I was wondering why it had a strange... See that one there? I was wondering why that was coming from there. That's obviously that. So let's give this a plunge to here. Right, I think we're clear. I think we've just got a mass of a, uh, what I like to call, we need a good chop chop splash splash on this one. My favorite. Okay, a couple of buckets first and then we'll see if we can get it shifted. Right, I should be back in a jiffy. Weather's horrible by the way. So what we normally find with stuff like that is it's probably just down to a poor gradient and stuff settling at the bottom of the uh, the manhole. So what I'll do is go back and get me bloody Delva. <laughs> right, be back in a minute, folks. You let it that, I won't you? I did it on purpose so I could go and get another bucket of water. Because as a lot of my back buckets end up handleless, so I have to carry them like this. Anyway, Caden's much nicer than Leo, he will edit that out. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll block that again, because I don't want to use all this precious water. Let's see where it's coming out. Yeah, that's filling up nicely. Use their own water against them. Let's get a bit of water in now. all quite solid this and there's nothing really more for it than chop chop splash splash and the odd plunge just to keep it going let's chop that up okay let's give that a, a plunge now Oh, and he's moving along a bit. He's quite put up a fight there. Not what you were expecting at all, is it? No. There's quite a lot of solid stuff in there though. Here's the rain again. He doesn't want doesn't know what it wants to do. Okay. There you go. Starting to go. A few chop chops here and we'll be alright. Um, not yet, but I'm guessing they've got a poor gradient and something snagging here in the uh Oh, that's nice to hear that. Sound of success, folks. Let's get it all in. Another bucket. Yeah, because the actual drains aren't blocked going out, it's just a manhole, so it's coping, it's not coping with the uh Probably really poor gradients. I know we like to use that word a lot on this uh, channel, but it's the truth. Nice. Right. Let's have another go. Yeah. 
it's going again so what I think we need is a couple of flushes water is our friend let's get the except when it's raining yeah let's clear that one the rain gully okay I'll get a couple of flushes going while I get another couple of buckets of water I'm gonna go to get two more buckets of water while the customer flushes that and Kieran can have a look at the flush coming through I'll, I'll be back in a minute Oh, there we go. Bit of lemony goodness in this. Made it smelling a bit nicer. Okay, let's move that along. Okay. So simply, I think, it's just too much for the system said the manholes to handle because we weren't blocked what we'll do is we'll give if you look at this one here Kieran we'll give this a bit of a plunge because these don't like solid waste these uh, gullies that should come shooting out of there there we go There we go. Nicely emptied. I have to get the hose out here. Give it a proper clean and go up the channels just to make sure there's no solid waste. Ah, oh, my football skills out the window. Okay, right, let's crack on. We'll get all I want to do, I want to make sure that these channels are clear and then we can give it a bit of a rinse out at the same time and then we have to put it all away again right there you go we're right through that one and what we'll do we'll come back to this one here now what I thought was in it. That's the most interceptory looking grid uh, surface train I've seen underneath once you get in there. Okay, that's nice and clear. And then we'll go up the line to the soil stack. Just watch out for splashy splash. Okay, we're hitting that now nice and clear one last job look at this a blast now be careful this is on full pressure this so I'll stand back a little bit I wasn't going back to turn it down okay We'll get one more flush off the customer and then I'll ask her to flush it. You can watch, I'll go and turn the engine off and then we'll get get wrapped up then. So in, in short, again, you've got what's probably happened is oh, see really? this this bit of pipe sticking out there. 
it's just sticking a little bit too far out so there's a chance that it's snagged there because it wasn't blocked going out it was blocked here and that's the only thing that's there so what we'll do is what we usually do we'll advise the customer to flush before use and that's the best way to battle it okay i'll get the flush while i turn that off okie dokie i'll be gone for another three hours <laughs> Three hours later. Here we go, a little clean up, and then we'll let the customer know what's going on. We'll also advise them that there's got to be an issue down here as well. A little bit of uh, damage on here. It's just through pressure. Just the water pressure in there was too great for it. And it's probably forced just a little bit of a weak point in it to force some water through. Okay, so we're going to get the customer out and explain everything, so on to the next one. Okie dokie. I think the GoPro is going to die, it's none of you think this is going to work, but let's see. As you can imagine, the GoPro has took a beating. Look, pull yourself together, it's only a bit of poo. <laughs> Displacement along the rod. Get it right back up along the run, and it should all come dropping in. The sewage in them. The setup isn't great, but you've done it.
Sharp cutting on this when you install it. Some people watch this chance, you can see how all of the job they've done with it. There's all new stones, yeah, new stones, all dry cement, and the end of the causing everything to hold. Right, we're glistening, we're flowing, we're clean, it's sitting in there. It's probably sitting on here too. Oh no, we've dropped. We've dropped to the level. I got into flushes there a few times. There is a displacement on the run. Um, Let's push a little good a few times. Like I say, it's sitting in that man all too long away. There we go. Get the movement. Get all this away. Get all this away and go and meet Dave the drain. On to the next one. Alright, another day in the life of me, myself, and Justin. A day in the life of two engineers. On the third job, blocked interceptor, block gully, sewage spewing up from all areas. And here is the man himself filling up the buckets of water. Ugh. Justin, right. we have a blocked interceptor, sir. Are you ready for the blocked interceptor? It's exciting, isn't it? It's exciting stuff. The reason why he got out of bed this morning was for this very moment. It's a great job, yeah. So yeah, basically mate, I might as well just whack it from here, mate, mate. Yeah. Throw, your, well. uh, throw your glasses on, bud. Yeah. And then uh, go from there.
take it nice and stiff and just touch it to the bottom of the interceptor. Okay. Yeah, and then just hit it. Whack it. Stiff, that needs to be stiff. Hold it, squeeze it out. Give it a good clean up, we've got all this to stand through there, haven't we? Yeah. All them chunky bits. But yeah, what it is is the interceptor's knackered, so when you're hitting on the base, you could feel on the outlet where it's just snagging and snagging. So rather than waving your hand and arm, go willy nilly, keep it nice and straight and try and fire. At least get your nozzle on the outlet so you can try and hit it at least to send it through, otherwise it's just going to make more and more and more mess, because that's what we always try to minimise during this situation right here. Look at all the exits back in there, where it belongs. Looks like that pressure, I'll get that hose out the way, bud. Come on. Down the back, do you want to clean around the back first, mate? Yeah, yeah, put the camera there. Yeah. Do you want clean? One more. One more for good luck. Yeah. Miss loads. It's okay, you're a professional buffer thrower. I'll have to use my old green fairy liquid because the disinfectant hasn't arrived still. Ah, oh, big chunks there. Lovely. 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 That is just Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. That'll drop down a bit. We've got all this gully, which is absolutely rammed with some chunky, chunky bits. I think there's a grit cover in there as well. Ah. 
thing he's thrown out from there when I've just emptied it on that grid. <laughs> oh, listen to that. Ah, ha, ha, good. Slam that all over there. Nothing beats the disinfectant though, this fairy liquid just goes away, don't it, that quick? Yeah. You can see how he's lemony finish, but... Miles green, fairy liquid. Worked out well in the end. It got there. It should be the other way around now. Slam a few more buckets around here. So lovely. So the jubbly. So the B to the E to the A. To the U to the O. All coming through nicely. So yeah, that intersector. You can see actually big hole just in. Yeah, massive hole. Mate. Yeah. I can see it from above ground here. But see, see all that? That's not there, that's just the surface drain. Right down the base. Yeah, I'll dangle you in. See down there? Oh puppy. Oh and there, big ol'. Big ol'. Smell good. Get that a swirl through from that, but that's like an old surface drain as well. But yeah, well and truly boost is the word. Right Justin. Okay. Yeah, keep throwing a few more buckets around mate, but that'll do nicely mate. Yeah. We got there in the end. Difficult one there, but means it's to just show them on that one. Even I struggled, you know, I've been doing this for 27 years, on to the next one.